Yo what's up, Kempsey here and welcome to my latest tutorial in which I will show you how you can make like some uh, link tabs or link buttons because um, I've decided to make something different than link bars because first thing you see when you go on a background um, or on a channel which has a partnership you see the logo mainly used with a ripple effect or drowsy then you see space stuff and then you see link bars and it's always the same so I wanted to get a bit more originality in my backgrounds um, I mean I'm not really using that space stuff at all but um, I've used link bars pretty long time now and they're just getting so overused so I've decided to make something new um, I mean it's not really new but it's not really used on YouTube so like on my recent background you see this three big uh, link tabs or link buttons, however you want to call, however you want to call them, and uh, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make them. So I've decided to let you guys pick which tutorial you want to see, and mainly it's something you guys see in my latest background, and you see like how can you make that, how can you make that, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. So first of all, you're gonna be starting in Photoshop with a custom, uh, with a shape. Pretty much, you can use the rounded rectangle tool like I did in my background, or a normal rectangle tool. I'm gonna be using the rectangular marquee tool. Uh, make a new layer, and then just make something like like this. Um, now just use the paint buckets tool and give it a color I'm gonna be using black oh uh, yeah and now what you're gonna be doing is basically give it some layer styles so you go to gradient overlay and it's just going from black to white so you put the opacity down to 10 or 7 uh, I'm gonna be making it 10 and also gonna be making the black a bit brighter like like this so um, now you go and add a stroke really uh, make it one or two pixels depends on if you make background desktop wallpaper or a website really depends on the size of the uh, image at all um, I really like to change the color to white and um, change the blend mode to overlay it l let lets it look like uh, yeah one is a bit better it lets it look like it's uh, kinda outstanding from the the back if you know what I mean also if you have like a orange background or something you can make it to normal change the color to orange and then just change the opacity to about 50 percent or 30 something like that really you have to um, yeah wait I'm, I'm gonna be just making the background orange that you can see what I mean um, okay now our background is basically orange not really orange but yep uh, more like red or brownish but I think it's okay to see what I mean. So you go to stro uh, uh, I didn't save the gradient overlay. That's cool. So put it back to ten percent, yep, like that. So you go to stroke and make it white. Size two or one. I'm not sure about that. Um, and then overlay. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna be changing it to one overlay but you can have pretty much the same effect when you just change it to a orange change the blend mode to normal and put the opacity to about let's say 40 40 yeah that looks pretty cool as well like if you have a tech I've made that on my background because I have a text in the back and when I put it on overlay it always has like the texture stuff as well so I didn't really like that so I've made it this way just like that. Um, so next thing you're gonna be doing is adding an inner shadow. Um, the distance to about 
two and the size to about seven should be okay. Keep the opacity to 75. I'll put it on 100. It doesn't really matter, just however you like it. You should just have a little put the size to 15. Yeah, it just should have a little in and if you know what I mean. So, right, you just hit OK and you would have like a little tab you could, can put in text right now. Um, you can also add a little drop shadow, put the distance to zero, the spree to 10, and the size to 10 as well, something like that. The opacity, keep it on 80 or something like that. So that looks pretty good as well. So what you're gonna be doing now is basically you see here I have portfolio and then on the right I have like a little space where you can put a icon in. So you can just like I'm just gonna make it like this. Just cut out, make a layer with a cut, and we'll have it like this. Double click that one now, change the gradient overlay, put the opacity to about one hundred percent. Um, and change the color from like a dark depends on how your background color is and how you want to have it colored from a dark color in my case a dark orange to a bright orange like that it's gonna be changing that one to four or something Yeah, like that. So you have like a space where you can put a um, icon in now. Like I can just open up. Is there something I have? Yeah, like the Twitter bird. So open that up and put it right in here like this always like to rotate it a bit um, back like this I like to make it a bit bigger than the picture or well, that space thing is but it cuts out a bit not too much but it just looks like more filled out and I just like it a bit more so what you're gonna do now is basically just double click it, add a drop shadow, um, pass the 100%, distance 0, spread 10 and size about 10 as well, or spread 5 and size 10, pretty much however you want to have it. Then just click OK, make a new layer. Um, Choose both of these layers and hit Command E if you have a Mac, if you have a Windows PC, Control E. That will merge them together. So you have that one. Now you hit Command or Control um, on this space, um, like on, on this layer which um, makes the space of the Twitter bird, or which is the the space of the icon you want to have in. So you're going to be going to rectangle marquee tool, right click, layer with cut. So you only have this Twitter bird anymore. And this one you're going to be switching to soft light. So it, it really looks good. On the other side, you can put in Twitter. Oh, it's not pretty good font for this one now. I'm going with... Uh, hmm. Type Pro. Yep. Gonna make it bold, uh, semi bold. Yeah, like that. So, make it a bit smaller. I think I have that. Oh, yeah. Back to zero. Yeah, that looks better. Smaller, like this. 
So now you can have it a orange or what I really like to do is adding a gradient overlay from darker, darker gray to white like this. Um, add a inner glow, put that on white, size on about 3 and then put it on overlay. So the last thing you're going to be doing is um, on the button itself is make a new layer um, use the rectangle marquee tool and then you go and use the gradient tool choose color white go up here and choose from white to transparent and then you make sure you're on a new layer then you just drag from here to here and those fail uh, wait, give me a second what the fuck? Okay. No, like this. Um, you have to to use the linear gradient, not the radial gradient. And so you just drag it over like here. Deselect that, and now you just um, make a selection of this one that you have. Uh, the main button, right click, select inverse, use a eraser tool, hard brush one, um, make it, yeah, like this. So you can just erase that away, which is out of the out of the selection. Then you do the same with the Twitter icon place. Huh? I forgot to select inverse go back to eraser and just erase that away like this, deselect it and now you put the opacity of this layer to about 10 or 7 really however you want to have it so like this um, and the last thing you can do with a button like this so right you you have this button now um, you can pretty much add a lighting on the flare uh, on the button which you will do with a flare wherever it is here so like this so make the size of the flare like the same and the button like that and now um, switch the color to orange uh, but I don't really like this orange, it's too red for me, so I'm just going to be uh, switching the saturation to minus 100. I'm going to be making a new layer, creating a clipping mask between these layers, choosing a orange in here, uh, paint buckets tool, fill it, and now the blend mode of this layer, put that on soft light, and I'll just merge these two layers together. So you have one layer now, which is a orange flare. So, but, um, right, you don't really want to have this black thing around it. So many people now will put it on screen, which is okay. It is seriously okay if you put it on screen, but it's better if you put it on linear dodge. So it will just, it has, uh, <coughs> sorry, it has, it's more colorful and it changes um, the uh, the back of it a bit it's just making it more realistic I'm just gonna be erasing away the ends of this flare here so um, see so you have like the flare on the top you can also put one on the bottom however you want and uh, like it's pretty cool if you have a website design and use a button like this so you can just make the flares wait I'm gonna be duplicating everything so you, you can have it like this so this would be standing for YouTube no. this would be standing for YouTube now and you are on the Twitter 
page of your website or anything and you can put these flares in that it that people see you're on this side now and when you switch to a YouTube side you make the flares on the YouTube one um, that's a pretty pretty cool idea you can do with that flares or you can just put them in it like I did on my background which just um, let it look a bit better and nicer and just without the flares in my eyes <clears throat> but that's pretty much up to everyone else um, everyone should decide what he likes more but yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial even I guess it was a bit long yeah 15 minutes um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, I hope you will like and comment this tutorial and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please go and subscribe it and yeah um, I'll see you at the next tutorial or speed art um, I hope I can upload one this weekend scheduled hopefully because I'm on vacation from Friday to Monday so I won't be home for four days um, so I'm probably gonna be uploading one on scheduled if I can't upload anything I'm gonna be uploading something next Tuesday or Wednesday so yeah I'm out peace